Tech giant Google says it will continue selling technology to the Pentagon despite the recent pushback against the military use of artificial intelligence. One America's Christian Rose explains. Military and security agencies in the U.S., Russia and China are ramping up their artificial intelligence capabilities for the purposes of advanced warfare and mass surveillance. This comes as tech giant Google said it would continue working with the Pentagon in pursuit of lucrative government contracts, albeit renouncing a possible weaponization of AI. Simplest example that gets talked about is, you know, one day these AI systems are super intelligent, they are more intelligent than humans, and so they have their own free will, if you will, and, and they're optimizing for something else, and, and, and they may make decisions which aren't necessarily to the benefit of humanity. In a recent statement, Google CEO Sundar Pichai laid out seven principles of its AI development in cooperation with the Defense Department. Pichai wrote, Google would provide AI technology to boost the Pentagon's capabilities to keep its personnel and civilians safe. This despite just days ago, massive personnel protests forced Google to abandon its work on the Pentagon's project Maven, which would use machine learning technology to improve the precision of US drone strikes. There are other employees that feel that using artificial intelligence in this context is particularly risky. They foresee a future where eventually you have a computer making the decision of whether or not to carry out a drone strike, and they feel like a human should be the one who's making that decision, not a computer. Machine learning is posing concern for Fourth Amendment advocates who say AI algorithms could collect personal data in violation of privacy laws written by humans. Google pledged to prevent what it called the unjust impacts of AI and avoid data harvesting for surveillance purposes, but the corporation didn't specify how its developers would impose the caps of legally acceptable on machine learning capabilities. Some say AI could eventually learn to make more impactful decisions. It's a machine learning algorithm. Our neural network is designed to learn how to look for potential targets. It highlights targets out of all the things it sees. Then, understanding it as a potential target, the neural network can make a decision on how to act. Meantime, mainland China is perfecting its so-called social credit system, using AI for mass surveillance over its citizens to curb both the regular crime and political dissent. The system has attracted some interest from the Russian authorities as well, as the Kremlin is seeking to protect its transnational corruption schemes from both the Russian public and the US Treasury Department. To the intellect. Uh, Artificial intelligence and robotics are key to future technological development. In today's world, innovations, and especially those with great potential, all happen in science and technology. Google's Pichai acknowledged the issue of machine learning has multiple voices and dimensions to it and pledged full transparency in its AI development. However, such technology could eventually go out of control of either the good guys or bad actors using it, unlike the more conventional tools of suppression, such as weapons, the media and intelligence agencies. And Chinese autocrats and Russian kingpins of corruption are willing to take the risks, dealing with the machine learning and quite possibly independent computer decision-making, which could pose a far greater challenge to human rights. People always talk about computers taking over this and that and so forth. A much more likely outcome is these systems become savant systems, right? Where they use, they use their ability to see very deeply, to see everything, things that humans can't do. The Pentagon's original Maven contract expires next year and could be picked up by Google's competitors, whilst the Chinese government plans to commission its own fully operational AI by 2030. And concerns are brewing of whether this global AI race could eventually seize political power from human institutions altogether. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.